Um, that's the thing on the stream. I'll check the video capture. Uh, audio is going down. We touch here, just so that we can make sure you can hear me over the top of it. So EA press event starts at 1 p.m. Pacific, which should have been two minutes ago. Um, hopefully this isn't live. If anybody's in the chat, feel free to tell me if I'm actually missing the E3 press conference because it should be live right now. I am on EA's official stream here, which um, I hope. Is the right one for Twitch, because otherwise I'm maybe DMCA to fuck for this, but who cares? Um, it's more about getting this news and views and previews of the coming events for yeah, for the next year or so in gaming. E3 is a big conference. If anybody doesn't know what E3 is, it's the Entertainment Electronics Expo. It's been a standard bearer for video games for a long time now. I mean, there's a reason why we've all been watching for this news over the last week why every single leak has been a big deal because this is what we've got to be excited for for the next couple of coming well, six to ten six to ten months really because they, they announced a lot of stuff for 2017 but they also announced everything for the big christmas releases which of course this year are going to be a massive amount of stuff for vr so i don't know i don't know is ea stepping into the realm for um playstation vr or for Microsoft HoloLens, or for the Vive, or for the Oculus. This may be the, one of the major points they're going to bring up at this con, because um, we are, we're now in a post-VR age, we actually are wondering about it. I imagine a lot of that stuff may very well be focused more in the PC gaming conference, which is going to be in a couple of days' time, but what can you do? I mean, we're going to just uh, we're going to enjoy and take what we can get in this broadcast. So, now let's see, do I need to move anything around here we touch? Um, no, that's good and grand. Maybe I'll bring myself in a wee bit here. All right, that, that'll that'll do right there. Um, am I actually? Hi. Yeah, I can actually touch. So, oh, <laughs> the one thing is, one thing I know is never ever reach up across the stream and actually check to see where the limits are. You can easily see where the line is, but uh, I'm still learning that this Twitch stuff. I'm I'm used to doing my pre-recorded events, so I don't have to um, fill this time and gap with a meandering conversation. Right, um, I'm going to take a wee look to see if there's anything going on here, if I'm missing the com event. Feel free, like I said, to say in the chat whether or not the stream has gone live. Yes, I can see the chat. I can see you, Diane Nerd. Um, admittedly, the text is very, very small, actually. Um, I might have to try and fix that. Can you see your own messages? Because it's uh, it popped up in the chat. I can see your chat uh, on a separate window. Oh, man. Woo! Right, I need to pour myself a goddamn drink. Ah, going disappearing off the edge of the screen to get myself a drink. Yes, I can see the chat diode nerd. Uh, and thanks for coming to the broadcast. Uh, I can see it well and grand. Uh, although I cannot see the press event. If you have any clue, because it's kind of difficult for me to switch across and check to see if the conference has gone live. Like the easiest way for me to do that is actually go and look at somebody else's and <laughs> see if they're actually live on the event yet. So, of course, if you've chosen to watch me here uh, for the E3 Twitch reactions of the conferences, uh, thank you very much. Uh, the Total Biscuit and Far From Subtle and many other people, GameSpot and all the major artists are actually doing it right now. So, um, we're having a sarcastic thon, <laughs> I think, everybody at once, because the EA event's probably the one to laugh at the most. Let's see here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. Yeah, I'm checking to see if uh, Total Biscuit has gone live yet. Um, of course, you probably heard his voice there for a second. Seeing if he's actually got the conference up and running. If the conference is up and running, I'm obviously on the wrong stream. And I will need to fix that problem. Am I using YATC? Y-A-T-C? No. <laughs> Alright. So it's not started yet. Fantastic. I uh, wonder, wonder what the delay is for yourself, actually. Um, let's see here. I hide the video preview. I don't need that to be proven up. I need, all I need is the chat to be able to see it because the text is pretty damn small on my window. Um, ba -ba Alright, that's a bit weird that uh, the chat is only showing... Oh, that's because the chat is not active. It'll only show the most recent message at the top of it. <laughs> there was hundreds of people in here chatting. That stream would be going... Rawr, rawr, rawr. But as it is now, because it's only yourself, I would nerd. I'm not too concerned. Um, I'll worry about that later on because I can watch what you're saying. 
I know I do need to make the chat a little bit bigger. I'm actually looking at it uh, in my overlay system and seeing if I can actually drag it up and make the text. I think essentially all it is is I need to make the text a bit bigger. See, the annoying thing is, I don't, I can't go over here. Like, ah, I need to go over here if I want to put anything down, which is annoying because it's dangerously close to things I don't want to actually have uh, knocked over, touched, or damaged because it's sitting right next to the audio system. <sighs> so, like a proper alcoholic, I'm sitting with a big two liter cider and drinking it down while I enjoy my entertainment. So, drinking a wee bit of strong bowl, lads. Um, just sitting down having a wee drink while we enjoy this conference because it is a hot day and cider is the solution to all life's little problems. Dick and cider. Everyone loves a hot dick and cider. You try it out. Dick and cider. Mmm. It tastes like weed. Oh. Oh. What God actually needs. That needs a little bit of flavoring. Oh, that's so much better. Didn't change the color of it at all. It still looks like this. Hey! And we're actually on the show floor! Well, welcome to E3, everybody. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of fun. Mm-mm. Here we go live! It, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Sports! <laughs> I also noticed that nobody is actually clapping. Rebel, play to live, rebel to live. Rule, rule, rule. Play to live, obey, 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 obey. Uh, EA Play. It's in the game. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to EA Play, coming Yay. to you live from the Novo in Los Angeles. It's always cool to be part of something new. This is a brand new event, a brand new venue, and we're kicking things off with a new type of show. Now, we all know you have an insatiable appetite to dive New type of show? What is love, this about? But we could never give you everything you want in 60 minutes. And let's be honest, even if we could, you'd also probably rather see and hear it from the community anyway. We get it. Yeah, the whole point of so us doing this. this. next hour to be a taste. A quick glimpse into a bunch of great stuff that we have in development. This is us opening up the door, welcoming in our players, influencers, media, and partners. Uh -huh. We're inviting you in to play. We're surrounded here by hundreds of game stations. Thousands of you will get hands-on with our games this week. Unfortunately, more of you won't. Jiggly cam. But the content creators here Boy. are the ones who can tell you what they see, what they feel, what they like. And <laughs> the what corporate they don't. monkey? Ah, uh, sir, and that's sir, you we know it's EA. Feedback. It's we Captain know what Corporate. Think. Just as long as you take some time to play. Of course, EA Play is a global experience. <laughs> is it nice? Like? Someone had this crazy idea of hosting EA Play in not one, but two locations. And then, I'm pretty sure it was that same person had an even crazier idea of that seeing idea if we could join mine. them live via satellite. So let's welcome Peter Moore and hundreds of our friends from London. London! All right. Hello, Peter Moore. So this conference is live in London and in the United States. Fair enough to them. We're good, we're good. Hi, Andrew. As you can hear, we've got a great crowd here in London. We're at the iconic Hammersmith Apollo Theater. Oh, we've Jesus. They built the Apollo Hammers with the ball with this. 600 of my best friends. What a great looking group. <laughs> best they are. friends. We you know why? They're the only ones that'll night. cheer. Back to you. <laughs> right and that's it. We're gone. Thank you very much, for everybody. Good night. Just a bit. Let's quickly set the stage for what you'll see over the next hour. We will take a look into the future of EA Star Wars games. BioWare will take us further into the next intense chapter of the Mass Effect universe. From EA Sports, we have both competition and story. 
And of course, Battlefield 1 so, and Titanfall 2 of course, are both here today. They got their big games, they're going to be out now. Sorry, I downloaded about the chat. Right it's actually, I'm running through StreamPro.io, which is controlling the chat size. Um, for future chats, I'll probably do it built into OBS rather than actually doing it through Twitch because, or through StreamPro. It's just, the overlay is not working for me. But um, I can still see what you're saying. Other people won't be able to see what you're saying. I know you did, and I know a bunch of you were thinking, is this real? Are there actually Is this real life? ships and horses and trench knives and shovels? So two things. One, yes. And two, you can see... Is this yourself, real life? Not in another trailer, but with an hour of gameplay live streamed around the world. Just not now, no, please. A few thoughts before we get into the action. Just a decade ago, there were about 200 million game players in the world. We thought that was a lot. Now there are 2.6 billion and growing. We yeah, the thing is, that 2.6 billion family. was already there. It's just the fact they started point. counting countries Something that, that now produce more gamers than the UK and For US. Us, games are vital. That's what drives us to make games and continue building, creating, innovating, and exploring. We know just how important it is. We see it as our responsibility to help people on all corners of the globe experience play. Because we all play to live. This will be a fantastic three days. <laughs> we all play to live, we all live to play. First Get back on that goddamn escalator and keep stepping to make electricity. One million merits. Vincent Pella. Thank you, Andrew. Well, everyone, it's great to be back uh, near E3. Um, so, Titanfall introduced millions of players around the world to the fast, fluid, pilot and Titan gameplay. No, Titanfall was a game Titanfall. series I actually enjoyed the hell out of it. I'm not an Xbox One owner, but Xbox PS4 One was... Uh, the, the only game I really played on it was goddamn Titanfall. Like, it was one that was played in our house with friends constantly. The moving around was actually... Uh, the, the Getting around the set was probably the easiest and best thing, rather than actually uh, even the combat. Uh, I think that the whole parkouring system they had for moving around has been probably stepped up, as we'll see soon. Respawn Entertainment. I've got one game and one game only. Fucking hell. Big active battlefield. Yeah, tether! Yeah, that's what I imagined. Because I heard rumors about them actually using a grappling system. Boom. Fast and fluey. Right. So, exactly what we're expecting it to be. <laughs> uh, sorry about the artifacting on the video stream, guys, because I think my connection rate is dropping in some way, shape, or form. It could be uh, artifacting because of the issues I was having with the connection previously. Ooh, fuck, void grenade. <laughs> Epic death animation. Looks like a go theater kind of stuff. Ooh, ooh. Slingshot death. Running, 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 glidey, glidey, glidey. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm quite hyped about this actually, I like the look of it. Um. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit nasty. Oh, right, so essentially a reactor blast kind of thing. Ah. Boom! Nice. That brings the kind of the combat one to one a little bit better. I love it. So, Titanfall two builds so two few maps are better. Will ship with three. Deliver a more robust experience. I don't know, man. Uh, to learn the from their ass mistakes, Titanfall for. one was tech demo. It wasn't the price. It shouldn't mean the price of a full game, really, because it was a multiplayer ability. only game and set a standard for a lot of multiplayer only games that have came out since, where you didn't need to have a campaign mode, even though it actually had a campaign mode, which wasn't big. That we've always delivered. Yeah, smooth gameplay. Um, prior to launch, we'll be holding a multiplayer technical test designed to help us stress key features of the game. Woo! To play the multiplayer test, go to titanfall.com and sign up to get all the details. There you go. Now, for the four people that didn't see the leak this morning. Oh, and well, if you know there you this, go. sing along me. with me. Um, I'm excited to confirm single player. 
Right. Uh, so that's the big announcement, so we'll Sinclair, I think, for the four people didn't know. Which was me included because I've been too fucking busy setting up this stuff. It'll be crafted to dive deeper into the Titanfall universe, exploring the unique bond between pilot and Titan, taking full advantage of the movement and combat. So, to deliver a feeling of being unstoppable together. And right. here is the debut of the single player trailer for Titanfall 2, coming October 28th to PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Hey! PS4! All right! See, that puts me more interest because it's not cross console. Because Xbox One and PC, just because I don't play it. But single player mode, and on PS4, this will actually get me into Titanfall for a bit. Oh, that's kind of cool. BT seven two seven four. Your Fuck, data that's my postcode. <laughs> BT seven two seven four. Uh, as long as you don't call it the letters, it'll be all right. Pilot was KIA. I am now linked to Rifleman Jack Cooper. Who authorized right. this? AI in bot. We had no other options. I'm so, so the bots actually have their own uh, irradiant AI. All right, throwing over droids, beating up monsters. Protocol one, link to pilot. Yeah. Protocol two, uphold the mission. Protocol three, do not attack OCP. Protocol three, war. Protect the pilot. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I do like the idea of a story mode that kind of focuses on a buddy-buddy thing between the droid and player. And the droid seems to be a lot more fluent and active than uh, some of the other units that we saw in Titanfall 1, which were very kind of like clunky moving through. Oh! Oh! Okay! Mecha combat with swords. Like it. Bum 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 bum! Titanfall 2. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, they're cross-player multiplayer. Cross-platform multiplayer is going to be... Oh, oh fuck. Fastball special. <laughs> throw me, Canuck. Oh, throw the Canuck. Uh, October 28th. Okay. We don't have that long to wait. Sport! <laughs> Bring them out in! Got him on my shorties, singing about my shorties, drinking 40s on my shorties, born shorties with 40s, I'm 40, 40, the goddies, and the daughter bought in the daughters. Bring that on mission, and about it, no man, and bit him, but I just bet it, that I do the mother turning the mission, I'm gonna get the MCA. Don't know what to say, gotta sing over this trailer, cause I'll be get fucked anyway. Ah, so. That, that's the thing I'm more concerned about is that the DMCA, any music that are actually attached to any of these trailers. Um, yeah. So, uh, Madden NFL 17. I'm glad they led started up with their Titanfall 2 because that got me a little bit excited because I do not give a ball bag about any of their sports games. <laughs> So let's talk about this cross-platform multiplayer. I'm just going to turn him down a wee bit because I don't give a shit. always, the game looks incredible. Yeah, it always looks incredible, doesn't it? It looks absolutely fantastic. So, um, yeah, guys, cross-platform multiplayer for Titanfall 2. What do you think? Do you think it actually is a good idea to be putting PC consoles together or keep PC consoles separated? PS4 and Xbox together. I mean, PS4 has never locked down. They've, said, they've always said that they've never locked down their multiplayer environment. And some games are putting it through, and Microsoft have made it a very abundantly clear that they want to be in on it because they thought they had full control with Xbox Live, but of course, PSN has kind of like stuck around from the PS3, and, and everybody who was on PS3 went to PS4 and just kept it on anyway because they're already getting free shit, plus they had to actually need it for multiplayer then. It was a smart move. This is all chatting about esports now? Okay. The of competition. It's a select few that become pro gamers. That is why EA is embracing a new approach to competitive gaming. We want to make stars of all of our players. With new competitive modes and weekly online content, Not everybody can be a star. Biggest franchises, we're making competition fun and meaningful for everyone, regardless of their ability. As such, I'm regardless of ability, <laughs> three awesome new ways to compete. 
Challenger events, Premier events, and EA Major events. With our Challenger series of events, we'll be giving Bring the, the challenge! an ability to be more easily hosting and running their own tournaments. Next up is the Premier series. These are large-scale live events that we'll host with partners from inside and outside of the gaming world. And finally, there are EA major events. These are marquee live events run by EA on a global stage. Right. The best so players they essentially got their own tiers of the events. Prizes. And it all starts this weekend at EA Play. I know Angeles. the PC players, mouse, keyboard, EA Twitch sliding. Mm -hmm. Have you actually tried to watch any major in PC moment, players we'll do play in Overwatch? Wow, that was almost unwatchable because they'd have this whole thing where they're playing through the player's perspective and the first person perspective. So you just all you see is flicking back and forth or like that, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth because they're checking their peripheral vision extended by moving fast enough which makes it near impossible to fucking view. So um, it drove me around the bend watching any first person players on the PC Overwatch, they have to do it for, if they're gonna do tournaments, they have to do it from third person. So uh, that's the reason why like, I can understand PC, mouse and keyboard is infinitely better because you can move faster than the human head can follow, which is gonna be a thing. Because I think we're gonna move further away from mouse and keyboard. If we go towards VR, and people are going like, oh, it's not with the fidelity, and you want to have the control, and uh, my FOV, and uh, <coughs> oh, well, I don't, I don't like it. Fuck it, PC players are going to complain and moan about it all the time. It just means they're segregating themselves off from the console market, as always. Keyboard and mouse, of course. What did I just say? <laughs> well, what's happened to the stream? We have issues. We have issues for more. We have more issues than we have tissues here, sir. Come on. This is not good. I need to get this back up and running again. I don't know what happened to the stream. Somebody cross the streams! We're not losing connection of any sort. Um, is anybody else having stream issues? That's the question I need to ask. If there's other people having stream issues, then we're okay. If we're not, then that's something that's only going on with me. Yeah, it's only happening with me. Shit. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back as soon as I figure out what the hell's going on here. There's in the world. All world class and we're back. competitors. They're at the top of the It game. needed a refresh on the stream for some reason. Like, one to be the winner. So uh, up next, Mass Effect Andromeda. Hey, fantastic! So we can get the fuck rid mode. of this. What happened? Uh, I was right a repetitive strain injury from uh, owning noobs. <laughs> Didn't have your shoes tied. <laughs> Are they tied now? No. Uh, no, they're not tied. All right, we don't want you to fall off the stage. All right, uh, best of luck to you. Best of luck to all of you guys. Now, it's going to be an awesome competition. If you can't be here at EA Play to see it in person, you can tune in, you can watch on Twitch, YouTube, or tune in to ESPN3 to watch all the action live, or oh, join fuck. us at ESPN2, 6 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday for the finals. Now, oh. let's send it back to Peter in London. Oh, no. I don't I, what do you think about esports being on ESPN? Being on live, uh, or on big, big TV? On sports channels, I mean, is that Thanks, is that something Looking you're interested in? Because I know it's not something that I'm interested in. Let's I'm really not interested in that at all. To talk about the year ahead. I'm excited to announce the Madden NFL 17 Championship Series. Next year, everything gets bigger and better. How much better? We're putting up one million dollars in total prize money. Now it takes full-time dedication to be the best. And we want to reward our elite players for their skill and commitment. The Madden 17 Championship Series is a full year of high stakes action that spans four EA majors and more events to be announced soon. But it's not just Madden. At EA, competition is at the heart of everything we'll do. And we'll have more news about more events and more games to share soon. So stay tuned. And here's to a great year of competition ahead. But now, let's go back to Los Angeles Here's the general manager of Bioware, my good friend, Aaron Flynn. Ah, Bioware EA. That was a wonderful 
connection Thank of two things together. Thank you. Hey. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Hey, At the seven. heart of Mass Effect Andromeda is a question. How far will we go? In the game, you are part of an ambitious expedition, leaving the Milky Way galaxy to help humanity find a new home. You travel millions of light years to the Andromeda galaxy. You wake up. Now what? Everything is new. New planets, new species, new technologies. This is good news. You must be among the most courageous, the most daring to go on this journey. Because this is a galaxy. Because we are Pathfinder. We search the galaxy. How far will we go? Boldly going where that no one has. Oh, wait, hang on, that's trademark. The development of Mass Effect Andromeda. The Mass Effect trilogy is a huge part of our history and the lives of many of our fans. It was an amazing story. But this is a whole new adventure. We're building on the things you love about Mass Effect amazing stories and gameplay. And now we're letting our <laughs> imaginations run wild. This is a bigger adventure. Right, so, so a whole new cast of memorable characters, yeah, and more freedom than we've ever given players in a bio. They're game. doing, they're trying to do the No Man's Sky, time, but with the Mass Effect universe, all powered by frostbite, which, which would be fucking hear, offensively and big. Feel Mass Effect like never before. That's our promise to you. So how far will we go? Well, we can't wait to share more with you this fall. Here's a look behind the scenes at Mass Effect. Denver. Right. Thank you. Sure. Share more this fall. Great. We're, we're getting an RTs and our survival as a yeah. species has always depended on our drive to seek out the undiscovered. Find new worlds, discover new civilizations. To build. Ah, goddamn it! We did it again. Our known world. I don't think it's a brain fart on the stream, but are you telling me my stream, the whole thing, is buffering the entire time, or is it just the actual this bit that's buffering all the time? Diode nerd. To build a new home for humanity. Imagine distant star systems with remote and hostile planets. Red. This is actually and looking quite gorgeous. Life and civilizations. So, worlds where adventure, danger. And the unknown are waiting to be discovered. Do you feel that it's kind of getting closer back to what the first game looked like with exploration? With the buggy? Well, obviously the buggy's back, yeah. Little Doom Buggy in the sand. Little Doom Buggy in my hand. Okay. So dangerous shit happening all over the galaxy. Well, the new galaxy. The new Andromeda. Waking up from cryo? Wait. What? Oh, Who the fuck's that? That looks really familiar. Is that one of the female cast members from... Huh. Is that a female cast member from the original series? Alright. How's everyone doing? Okay. I hope you're loving what you've seen so far. We've still got a bunch more ahead, including FIFA, Star Wars, and of course, Battlefield 1. But first, let's have a practical conversation about play. Many of these games we're talking about today are months away. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm sure you're all playing games that you've already invested a ton of time in. So our commitment to, is to support the community. It's a commitment to continue delivering new content to enjoy with your friends. Here comes the DLC talk. In just the last year alone, we delivered more than 300 game updates to our most popular Mass Effect was a great series. This year, it was, that um, will be even higher. It was really enjoyable in and 1 and 2, week, and then 3 kind of had... Of 1 was tight, 2 was awesome, 3 had to bulb it back in again, so that was the biggest problem with the series. I mean, no matter what, any trials. game series that does that decision tree thing has to bulb week, and come back again. The Outer Rim expansion for Star Wars Battlefront. There are more expansions. Or check out some new games through EA Access for Xbox One and Origin Access for PC. Both have more than 20 great games available in the vault, and they are free for everyone to try all week long. There you now go. Here's one yeah, more access. way we hope you'll play this week. We have a new program called Play to Give. Right. It's a big deal for us, and it's unlike anything we've ever done before. We're bringing together in-game challenges 
with charitable donations. Right. First, the charities. At EA, we celebrate charitable causes. Because they want as many people's eyeballs on game. For all of us. So they're willing to pay for your as game well time with um, game makers donations. Through STEM education. So we've partnered with five great organizations for EA Play. The UN He For She Initiative, National Center for Women and Information Technology, Special Effect, Code.org, and Code2040. Cool. Now the challenges. There are five of them that are designed to celebrate our player community this week. Some examples. In Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline, there's a new objective that's based on helping out your teammates in need. We're celebrating strong female characters in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes as you deploy a special squad to battle against the droids. And in FIFA Ultimate Team, if you can win with the doing it for cup, themselves. you receive an untradable rare mega pack. Um, Galaxy of Heroes was a mobile game? As far as I remember, a mobile kind of battle game, which was a bit weird. In celebration of the importance of Which um, was one of those things, kind of like, uh, you had to now buy cards, and buying the card you randomly generate, so you tap to get them all, and you have, Peter, they was gated, so you had to pay in to get more cards, and I think I, I think I remember that game. I think I remember a lot of people complaining about it, which is uh, not expected, or not, not, not unexpected with an EA game. Hello, oh, Peter Moore, Where welcome back! Check. How's everyone doing? Bored. I think we're winning. Thanks, what? Andrew, and welcome back well, it's to because London. everybody there is excited because none of this shit fucking normally goes off in London. Of also, they were given free tickets. They didn't have to fucking fly anywhere to get England to it. England looked good last night, till about the 92nd minute. Um, but to be here in England at the heart of football, there's no better place Jesus to Jesus Christ! You'll see in a moment just <laughs> the how dead silence in London, as he mentioned. Oh, your guys are all yabos! <laughs> This is a revolutionary <laughs> year. Fucking hell. Chatting about the, the riots in France as a joke game on this France. conference? Fuck this you. This is 17. E -E -A Sports. It's in the game. Hey! Run up the right corner. Cross it in. Gigs it. Gigs. 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 <laughs> oh. Notice they didn't show the ball hitting the back of the net on EA 95. Or FIFA 95, where it actually like hit the back of the net and went. Whoa. Using the frostbite engine, we can see people better than they ever have before. You play isn't anything to do with Titanfall. Titanfall is on EA. But you will. It's EA Access. You play is on Ubisoft. My name is Alex Hunter. And just like you and every other kid that's grown up kicking about a football, I've always dreamed of playing on the biggest stage for the best tactical minds in the game. I'm a theatrical actor. the greatest names. Playing in the park with my mates, I've already pictured it. Taking flawless 50 yard passes from Beckham, sending in Messi with the perfect through ball, burying it in the top corner like Rooney. Now, I have the chance to make that dream my reality. To pull on a Premier League shirt and maybe even one day step into the center circle of Wembley. Three lions on my chest. This is the start of my journey. I know it won't be easy, but if I can perform on the pitch, make the right decisions off it, and take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way, this is the start of my journey. And you're all coming with me. Shakespeare, act three, scene two. <laughs> we've heard a lot about the talent of this young man, Alex Hunter. He had a wide choice of clubs to sign for. Today, his journey begins as he makes his Premier League debut. I haven't seen a kid coming out of the exit trials generate this much interest in years. Right, so they've got an EA I never expected anything See, like this. See, this actually interests yeah. me in a Goal FIFA game. If the creator wrestler mode was now. always the one yeah, thing I love playing in any wrestling game. You call me. <laughs> Following a single player. Just from bottom up, an actual story mode for your man Hunter. I actually like play through this. I... <sighs> Life doesn't always give you what you want, does it? See, it's a, I can imagine seeing all the things changing Already. for these strips 
the uh, the okay, hallways, the knowing which pitch is which and what everyone's, and who's going to be in the field with you, yeah. and who becomes your rival and stuff. This could actually be quite doable. I'm, I'm, I'm not against this. I want to stay and fight for my place. <laughs> Jesus. I won't let you down. Nirana. Alex Hunter. An <laughs> straight to video. I'm straight to video Welcome game. To the this young man has everything. We're gonna make history. He has everything. He's got all the bits and pieces we need. Generic statements about a player. My name is Alex Hunter. You don't know me, but believe me, you soon will. And Alex Hunter actually joins the Premier League and feels out in his first season. Hmm. Sorry, just checking messages about the stream. We're all good and grand. You can see all the stuff, it's all fine. So that's amazing. What you just saw is a brand new experience in FIFA 17 called The Journey. Yeah, sure. You'll live your Premier League story through the player we just met, Alex Hunter. That yeah, Alex Hunter, we're interested in finding out what FIFA you've got to show us. FIFA 17's brand new engine. You'll live in real football worlds, and you'll meet characters full of depth and emotion. And the bribes! And no the bribes will be so real. They'll be posted through your letterbox in brown envelopes. And as such, Betting on your own games, first time committing crimes left, right, and center, becoming the head of the FIFA League. The game. So what happens if you actually get chopped so down halfway through, bust your leg up, and you have to go and then become the a coach or a manager instead? Do, do they really, really get out. into that part of the career? Set to join the league. The legendary Arsene Wenger at Arsenal. See, this is interesting because they're going to be and doing all of the managers now as well as part of it. Which is, uh, you world. know, makes sense. <laughs> boo, yeah, boo, 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 yeah, boo, Jürgen yeah. Klopp at Liverpool. Now, these managers are the best. These three are the best, second to none. More than 1,500 wins between boo. them with 10 league championships. Uh. And Guest star in appearance from manager who I don't know about the boys who kick around the footballs. Yeah. I don't mean to demean about soccer. It's always. A, I mean, they train fucking hard. I mean, it's the pinnacle of their sport. It's just a sport. I mean, look at me. I'm a sport that I'm interested Did I in. I say three? I'm not quite sure. Oh Ladies my. Ooh. Jose Mourinho. How about you shut your mouth? Well, I will shut so it I for apologize. you. I apologize. I don't write the scripts here. I don't do the game. Jose, of course, is in the game. And it is a great honor EA to Sports. The EA Jose Mourinho. To be in FIFA 17 as the great manager I mean the game. of Manchester United. We've rendered you in the game. I don't know. Uh, we can have a look. Can we get can we get Jose up in the game? But I'm, I'm still upset with you. You st you're still upset? What about you? Are. You're going to be yeah. more upset when you come to Anfield this season. We are, tw we are 20 of us. You choose three. Just three. You leave us 17 out. I know. I'm, I'm not sorry. happy with that. Yeah. See that clench? Uh, first of all, he looks great. Secondly, Do I? I can tell you on uh, behalf of all of us, it's that. great having the personality and the skill and the talent that is Jose Mourinho back in the Premier League. Uh, and thirdly, I can't wait to bring. I don't give a fuck. And show them where You'll pay me to show up here. I should be done home, that, preparing for the field. Having said that, it is. Great I won't even take my hands out of my pockets. You know your friend's a big player. Yes, I do not give a shit. Who does he play as? Here's the question. Do you know? I don't know really. I just know that. I just know that um, I was told to say some things on the stage, yeah. and uh, I'm kind of done. Money on Ultimate Team that you're aware of? Uh, yeah, I yeah, 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 the, yeah, the, the Ultimate, Ultimate Team card. thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you spend well, money. I think yeah, we've all seen yeah. Your contract, so I think there's plenty of Ultimate Team business to be had. What is so it's going to be great having the managers in there, and it's even more important to have Jose Mourinho, one of the yeah. great personalities yeah. of football for the last 20 years, and all of the things that he's done for this game. We couldn't be more happy to have you in the game. I know yeah, the son needs some early code for the game. I think yeah. I can take care of that. Right, so, yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, please thank Jose Mourinho for joining oh. us here. Welcome. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. No, thank you. Bye. Bye. Shit. Um, I gotta go. Oh, where the fuck's my hookers? <laughs> Pulls off the mic and walks off stage. I didn't call him the special one. He doesn't like it. Okay, we've shown you a lot today, but we're not done. It is my Hi, pleasure Red to Cap. introduce Thanks you for joining in. Producer, Strongbow. Aaron it makes McCarty. me say shit. Aaron. Well, thank you, Peter. Thanks. It's great to be here in London. Uh, but for me, 
and for the development team back in Vancouver, it's amazing to finally be able to show you the journey. Now the best thing the journey, is you're in control which is the story mode. Off the pitch. But in FIFA, just like football, the most important thing is what happens on the pitch. Uh -huh. That's especially true in gameplay. Uh -huh. We're bringing complete innovation to the game this season. Uh -huh. We've what, you're making new rules? Getting rid of free offside? Look, you own every moment, <laughs> and we're bringing more control than ever before. Here ah, you tap the right stick to do a fake in the We've other way. We've written set pieces to give you creative control over every dead ball. <sighs> we completely overhauled physical play. We oh, built a cool. New oh, that's sad. So we're not going to have footballers kissing unintentionally anymore. Now, And kiss. we're giving you new ways to create chances and finish in front of goal. And those massive transformations are inspired by some of the best young football talent in the game. Let's meet them now through the lens of FIFA 17. Yay! Okay, guys, a new season, a fresh start. Today is about winning. In football, they are why we train. They are why we are here. So remember what we need to do. Be strong on the ball. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Make it's one of those things where people have not complained about the. Um, Be ruthless in front of goal. And own. People haven't really complained moment. about the on-field complaints. The time has come. You are ready. The fans are ready. Now go show them why we are the best. Great strength. <laughs> Uh, hard passing hard and low, passing round, pass. new From blood coming in, again. new players. Make them happy. Make them sing your name. Uh, when you play for the fans. Person, person, person. Uh, so cool. Uh, new physical activity in the game. They're actually like probably getting the collision physics to so not have people's arms go. Are you surprised oh, you with something yeah, well. unexpected? With Unravel, you met Yarny, a tiny little character with a huge heart going on an epic adventure. You also met Martin Salin, a passionate and creative game maker from the Cold War studio that brought Yarny to life. We knew Unravel would steal your hearts because it stole ours. But it also showed us something profound. When we first saw Unravel, we saw a game that oh, we're talking about Star Wars now. the world's attention. It deserved to be played. Oh, God. We also know that there are more out there, more studios like Cold War, more games like Unravel. Passionate developers oh, yeah. telling amazing stories. Oh, cool. Are they chatting about indie devs now? Games. That's awesome. We are committed to working with small developers, finding these great new games, and giving all of you a chance to discover their magic. So today, awesome we are very excited to announce EA Originals. Right, Our okay, so give them a the name to their indie about development. Things. Firstly, it's about taking first time experiences that are unique, gorgeous, innovative, and memorable. Unraveled, by the way, if you haven't played it, it's amazing. I have a first 15 on the channel that you can go and check out where you can see the opening part of the demo gameplay. And it is a heartfelt, simple little platformer. Probably about six, eight hours gameplay most to play through it. And well worth, well worth your time. I mean, like if you played Journey, if you played any of those kind of, the, the exploration, the, the, the journey to the end is the purpose. It's a classic. It's a good old school platformer with a couple of simple enough physics puzzles that take a little bit of mind time to get around. Well worth it. Definitely worth a try. And great games to serve to be played. Now check this out. Okay. With EA Originals, we want all the profit from these games to go back into the hands of the developers. If you just cut that there, we want so all the profit. Innovating and creating into the future. And here's some games. Now, we've already begun with EA Originals. So please welcome to our stage, Klaus Lüngeled from Zoink Games in Gothenburg. He's here to take you into the beautiful world of our first EA Originals game, Called the fear. Called what? Okay. F E A 
Brought together by our fascination for new approaches to interactive storytelling and art. Cool. And whenever you and see interactive storytelling and art, I'm immediately here. A very special new project. And thanks to Patrick and EA, we're here today to bring you along with us. Let me introduce you to the world of Fee. Fee. At its heart, Fee is a personal narrative about our. You just called it two different names. You said Fee and Fee. It's a game without words. A celebration of our longing to be one with the world around us. So, journey. It's a story that reminds us that everything in this world is connected. So, flow. Living in a delicate balance that is constantly under threat. So, two You're brothers. Awakened as a young cub, all alone in a dark forest. So, place. limbo. And you have no idea who you are or how you got there. <laughs> but as you spy from the trees, okay, so you come to know the extraordinary creatures that live in this forest. Fuck it, Zool. And you'll find that they are all connected through their own language. A language of strange. I'm being a bit facetious about it, music. but it looks See, pretty. I actually, I, I do like independent design of games. Um, anything that these actually, these basic 2D platformers song. bring back are a, mo a, a classic sense of exploration and adventure that all modern kids don't have it. normally handed to them. And they this still won't play these fucking games. We have to, as the adults, make them play them because they won't go and search them out for their own because they're too busy looking at Minecraft and Five Nights at fucking Freddy's. But you are not the only newcomer to the forest. The silent ones corrupt the forest and spread their silence with each step. As you evade them using stealth and cunning, you will uncover their terrible purpose. This is a game full of discovery, conflict, Sorry, and relationships. Guys. Uh, one of my possible co-hosts was actually just sent me a message there. While you space. continue to listen to this, You're I'll just send him a message back to reply. <laughs> the game won't tell you where to go, what to do, or how to think. We will set the stage and invite you into the forest for your own personal experience. An experience. Oh yeah, that will might as well say, uh, both Sue and, and uh, Dao Nerd, you should probably actually retweet my Twitter message or my Vine or my Instagram or the Facebook post or something to kind of invite other people to be here. <laughs> Thank you. So the game looks gorgeous. We can see that, obviously. Um, interesting creatures that all communicate with each other. Probably using audio tones and cues to actually be able to help them kind of distinguish each other. It reminds me a bit of Grow Home while also remind me quite heavily of uh, Journey. So I'm sure there's a very unique style to it. Uh, it'd be fun to play. And what we're seeing is probably just one of the many worlds or one of the parts of the world that we're going to see in it. So great and cool. Um, I enjoy games like this. I mean, I, there's a lot of games I've played through, like Never Alone and Ra Unravel and a bunch of others that have just kind of captured my heart for a little while. There's something sweet and enduring and special about the, the little moment you play in, play them which I don't think is really easily expressed by let's players or live streamers it has to be a personal moment between you and the game which is something that we all lost connection to since we were kids so I'd recommend checking this out check out a bunch of the other ones I've mentioned in the last three and a half minutes I mean if you haven't played any of those games you literally have not played the genre so it's worth taking a look to see All right. <laughs> this is when I know people. Hey. Uh, ba -ba -bam. Wait, how do I unlock you? There you go. Hi everyone, it's great to are be here to talk about our Star Wars games. Right now, we have teams across the world creating a wide range of Star Wars games for all types of Star Wars fans. These teams are being led by some of the creative minds who have made some of our favorite games in the last decade. And now they're channeling their talent and passion to bring you all new experiences that what will do we got for the many Star Wars? of the Star Wars universe for years to come. What happened to the one Let's that got cancelled? What are you going to do about the fan game that's currently coming out? Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, 
Right. Star Wars The Old Republic. And of mm. course, MMO. Star Wars Battlefront. Right. Each of these games are live and getting fresh new content all year long. Yeah. Next year, you're going to get a new installment <gasps> of Star Wars Battlefront. New Star Wars! Led by DICE, <gasps> in collaboration with Motive. <gasps> We're building on the foundation of the first game. We're listening <laughs> making to Battle from two already? and adding more of what you want, including content from the new films. Um. Then coming in 2018 is a new action adventure game right. from Visceral Games. Amy Hennig and team are creating an original narrative in the Star Wars universe with new characters. And beyond that, we've got more amazing projects in store. Give it a fucking Including name! One from our partners at Sorry, Respawn I didn't mean to scream so loud. I fucking hate it when everything's like, we're going to talk about it with this, and we're going to talk about that, and we're going to actually just maybe not mention what the fuck it is? We can't wait for you to play these games. I can't wait to play them myself. Here's a special peek behind the curtain. Oh. At the EA Star Wars games we're working on with Lucasfilm. Thank you, and may the Force be with you. The Star oh. Wars universe is growing day by day with Fuck. the comics, the films, the games, you name it. And to be a part of that and to work with Lucasfilm is incredibly right. exciting. It's Star Wars! So what we're really trying to do at EA is cater to different areas of the Star Wars universe and create different game experiences that are tailor-made for those fans. With Star Wars Battlefront, we wanted to really be able to bring people into the world of Star Wars like never before. Admittedly, that's what the one thing Battlefront does really, really, really goddamn well. Planets, more it is shockingly... More and that's why we're super Audibly, both visually, criteria really, really putting you into the world of Star Wars. It is There's no point in crazy how Wars good it sounds and crazy how good it looks sometimes. Be done before, right? So it's a fantastic opportunity but for it was really the whole issue of world, what we're about. its and content we're wasn't worth the full price at its time. Is, it's crazy. It's incredible. And it's crazy and it's incredible, but all of your DLC As stuff studio, was asking for a game for 120 fucking dollars to actually get half the things over the next year and a half. The game has these huge wow moments that translates really well into the Star Wars universe. Yeah. We're going to deliver that Star Wars like fans have never seen before. With Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, we talked a lot about how we grew up as kids with Star Wars. and Yeah, the big problem with Galaxy Heroes has been the randomized generation of characters and the paywalls and... You're stuff not that we want to play from our own imagination. Our aim is to bring in characters from all the films, all the TV Great. shows, and even beyond. Rancor. Star Wars is what got me into this. Is the games. Old Republic thing? Have you seen place, the trailer for this? Because it actually looks pretty impressive. It's uh, um, two kids are actually raised as Padawans, and one of them goes light side, one goes dark side, next to the Fallen Republic or Empire. Really at the heart of a I like the idea. It feels like it should have been a plot so for a that we yeah, still two of them together. Tell. It should have really been a plot for another uh, Star Wars not to Knights of the Old Republic, not just the Old Republic just, game, the online RPG, universe, as far as I remember. Tell an authentic Star Wars story. Okay, here we go. Visceral. Usually uh, so that's what the stage are at. They're at the stage of concept art. The new and unfamiliar in the familiar. You so need the guidance of someone like Doug Chang to show you the way. So some shit. One of the great joys of working with Amy is she is like so a director in many ways. Yes, show. She is telling her story, and I'm helping to realize her right. world. Oh, early in-game footage. Okay, so we can take third-person perspective, adventure game, walk through. He has some really exciting plans cool. in the works. Force Awakens 3. Portfolio. Perfectly fine and with that. What we're doing is bringing in talent from Why wouldn't we? Industry Force Awakens was one of the better games in loose. the license. We have completely different games on the horizon, and I just yes, hope that yes, you do. Away going, wow, and I don't know if they're I never all good. They were going to bring my Star Wars fantasy to life. Thank you, Jade, and thank you to all our studio teams working. Can I honestly Star Wars say the applause today. is getting less so, and less? Here we are. One last game. 
Let's talk Battlefield 1. You might be wondering why <laughs> Lonely whoop, well, one whoop in the crowd. Started over two decades ago. And I get a whoop, Dice whoop. Still a small no, just one. We were whoop. dreaming about conquering the world and sharing our games with more and more players. Now, I've been involved in each and every part of this series, and it's humbling to serve a Battlefield community today that has grown to more than 60 million players around the world. That is truly incredible, so thank you. It also means that we have <laughs> a great responsibility I I play to deliver on the promise of Battlefield, Battlefield 1. every game. It kind of annoys me. We have to take creative risks to pioneer. So we knew from the start that Battlefield 1 could be no ordinary game. Now let me tell it's gonna you be no ordinary a game. It's going to be about the inception of Battlefield. It is an ordinary game. A few years ago, two guys in our studio in, at DICE in Stockholm, Stefan Stamberg and Martin Kopperhed, kept telling me that they had the concept for the next Battlefield. And each time we met, they showed me more and more ideas from the team. Now, I'll be honest, I was skeptical. I was, like, really skeptical. And I told them, I don't, I don't think we have it yet. But they kept pushing. They Let's kept appreciate coming it, though, back. Nerd. And then one late night in Stockholm, they brought me a very special I've pitch. actually, like, I've, I've optimized for the stream as pitch, best I can. So that's the reason why I'm curious at what's really world world off of it at the moment. Right then and there. That's when we knew we had to make this game. Because I'm actually running at the so highest stream rate that my connection like can comfortably use so that people have the highest quality of image. I brought it down whenever you requested that it actually shouldn't be over a certain amount. And I was going like, nah, it has to be more than that because that bit rate down, it would have been garbage at 1080p because I'm still broadcasting. No matter what I'm broadcasting in 1080p, I'm not going to reduce it down to 720 because I want people to be able to watch Twitch on not just a mobile device. Get that fucking pigeon out of here! Who the hell called for him? Unleash the pigeons of war! So, tank combat? World War One is a very ripe area for battle. So that was just a piece of our EA Play trailer, and you'll get to see the full version in just a bit. But first, I want you to know that our team at DICE in Stockholm has huge ambitions for Battlefield 1. We've set out to deliver an epic and unforgettable experience for our players. Have and you the not? result is a dynamic experience where no battle is ever the same. But as talented as our DICE team is, it is you, the Battlefield community, that powers the team. That is why at world premiere last month, we revealed Battlefield 1 alongside our players. We want the community to be part of this every step of the way. And today marks another exciting milestone in the road to Battlefield 1, our first in-depth look at gameplay. And to reveal that, I'm honored that we have players from our community here to lead the first ever live stream of Battlefield 1 immediately following the press conference. And our host, Jose Sanchez, is with a few of them right now. Thanks, guys. I am excited because today this we are is, going to see these are the guys, or is one of the guys that was actually chatting in the pre-show that I had up in live streaming before the actual main show started. Wow, was it awkward television to listen to? It was just about their film the 20 minutes before the actual conference started. I'm yo. excited and coming out Super of the minutes, stoked. we have yo. the Battlefield Squad's live stream kicking off. 64 players going head to head, 32 v 32. So this is the thing you might be interested in because this is Battlefield Squad where they're actually doing like a local LAN game of Battlefield 1 to play teams. after this. So you, if you're really interested in Battlefield exactly gameplay, you can see it after so the stream. Thank you, Jose. So only in Battlefield 1 will you engage in some of the biggest battles ever seen, as you squad up in epic multiplayer matches with up to six. Yeah, but players. I'm still now, recording this in 1080p really cool. for future rebroadcasts. That's no why I have to run it through a 1080p sense, because I'm actually running through another Turn device that's then capturing all of this, and then I can use that to broadcast to YouTube, because I, I, obviously this time I wasn't able to do the YouTube and, and Twitch streams together, which is very annoying, which so hopefully I will have sorted out by the Bethesda stream at 2 a.m. In Battlefield 1, destruction is more intuitive and natural than ever. This creates unlimited gameplay possibilities as you impact the world around you. And next, dynamic weather. Weather will now change unpredictably, 
So you, can, you will need to adjust your tactics based on the conditions. So playing the same map on a bright day or in heavy fog or rain will impact what you see or hear. So you have to adapt yeah. your face time. And finally, well, it depends on physics. An impressive variety of weapons and vehicles add to the range of experience you'll have on the battlefield. And most notable, the introduction of the ultimate vehicles, the behemoths. The Great War gave birth to some of the largest vehicles ever made. And Battlefield 1 gives you the chance to control these beasts. Take control of an airship, armored train, or a battleship to dominate the battlefield across air. Actually, land, I can't because Stream Pro has an issue with um, if I was going to use this so overlay that I'm currently using, it would actually freak out if I run two instances unless I create two separate templates and then run two separate accounts of Stream Pro at the same time, which is why I'm not YouTubing at the moment. That was what caused the problem because it can't do both at the exact same time. If I wanted to, I could run another instance without the stream overlay. And then run that on YouTube, and All that's right. the reason why I'm kind of still minutes, figuring it out. I mean, this is literally I got back begin, into my house 25 first, minutes before this stream started, and I loaded Thank up the you. connection and started up, and then I realized my wired connection was not going to be stable enough to run the stream, so I had to switch to wireless to get the stream to run comfortably. That's how shit my inner connection is. Oh, here's this full chair now. God damn you, John Woo! Get the fucking pigeon out of here! Womp. 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 It's also like the guy looks like Archer is kind of funny. So the in game looks pretty cool. Um. Yeah, but, like, I mean, Battlefield's kind of uh, gameplay would suits World War One amazingly well. I don't understand why it hasn't been a, a version that's been played like this beforehand. It's it's an environment that probably plays towards trench warfare and these battlefield, like these large battlefields, pretty well. That is fucking amazing looking. You're gonna be dealing with the Africa campaign and a lot of other stuff. In fact, if you're really interested, you should check out a YouTube channel that actually does um, stories about World War One or the Extra Histories, uh, which was an amazing series done by the guys from Extra Credits, which uh, does uh, little stories from throughout history, but they did a series of ones about World War One. Uh, also recommend Frankie on 1080p's uh, War Stories. He occasionally tells stories about uh, warfare from World War One and even previous to that. Shit, yes, horse combat and trains. That's pretty fucking cool. Can you imagine like doing like an almost a road raid style thing where you have to raid a train and that's the actual objective of the mission. You have to get onto the train, off your horse, onto the train and then she worked your way up the train to the front cabin. That would be an interesting, like to stop, you have to stop the train from getting to location before time. The, there's a lot of fun little world, different things you could do with that, which is pretty fucking cool. One. So, so I'm, I, I, I don't Battle care about first-person shooters like that, but I can like, see why you're like excited, Dive Nerd. I can see exactly we why. For 17, we got Madden 17. We here in London are going to have a great time tonight. We're here through midnight. It's going to be phenomenal. Andrew, I'm sure you're going to have the same there. Back to you in Los Angeles. Back to Los Angeles. Bye, Peter Moore. Thanks, Peter. All right, so Peter. that's our show. And now the way I see it, I'm the only thing standing between you and an hour of Battlefield 1 gameplay. So let's keep this quick. Thank you everyone for joining us today. <laughs> I don't know if I want them to go yet because I don't know if I want to watch a fucking hour of Battlefield 1 gameplay. Thank you everyone in London as well. We're just getting started here at EA Play, so stay with us. There's a lot more to come. And now it's time to play. Thank you. Yeah, guys. Now it's time to play. Now look, we get to see our clothes now, the closing video. Big closing video. Look at it. Right, so, guys, this has been the EA stream. What do you guys think? Uh, how did the stream go? The, uh, so, as soon as I stop the stream, it's going to start encoding. I can pull an encode of this and put it up onto YouTube immediately for those who were unable to watch it on YouTube because of technical errors. I'll probably work on the issues for the next couple of hours before the Bethesda stream kicks in at 2 a.m. Um, I will be watching it. You can, of course, watch 
all of the streams here on Passage of Skin. Uh, I'll be doing EA, I'll be doing Ubisoft, I'll be doing Bethesda, I'll be doing Microsoft, I'll be doing Sony, I'll be doing the PC Gamers, I'll be doing uh, so many others. So there's actually a whole slate of stuff over the next couple of days. I'm not too sure I'm going to do Nintendo because they're doing two days of it and they don't seem to have that much content. So maybe I'll do a retrospective afterwards whenever the conference goes up live and or not live on pre-record for people to do. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think? This has been EA Live as part of E3 on Twitch 2016. I've, I've had a good time. I've had a fair amount of drink. And I will probably should stop and get some food in me before we get on to Bethesda. So, wow. Yeah, I, oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, so someone's gone horribly wrong here. I don't know what the hell this is. What? Wait till I get uh, no. I don't want to look at your face. <laughs> I, just, I don't know who the hell's face that was, but I didn't want to look at it. All right. <clears throat> that was not fun. So, guys, how's it going? Oh, man. It feels good. Oh, I need to remember where my field of view is. That felt good to actually get through the first conference of 2016 for EA. I'm... I think there was nothing there except for Titanfall 2 that really held my interest. Um, of course, the FIFA games are good fun. I enjoy playing them with friends on the odd occasion, but i never, never missed game series that I picked up for my own self. Titanfall 2's release for the PS4 it intrigues me. Um, I'm interested in it, and I'm looking forward to hearing more about it in October. Uh, it'll be a Halloween release, it'll be great. It has a single player mode, which means I'll actually, I'll have a reason to buy it. I will never buy a game just for multiplayer. <coughs> I've been, I've, I've learned my lesson from doing that. Um, I just know that I don't play. I don't like people enough to actually play a full multiplayer game. And I, I, it's not the fact that I fall out with people, it's just the fact that uh, it's, it's a lot of meta gameplay that constantly develops and change. While if you're playing a single player game, you kind of have your... Mm, plot to work through and then afterwards you can like just play with other people and you kind of if you enjoy it you stick around if you don't you don't i mean even in mmos i play main campaign missions and i play side missions but whenever it gets to large like skill raids because i don't play with people consecutively and regularly it makes it more difficult to do so so guys this has been um a live stream for the ea uh, conference on at e3 on twitch 2016 i want to say thank you very much for watching it's been fantastic i will be back at 2 a.m for the bethesda stream uh, which is only five four hours away so four hours from now i will be back for the bethesda stream i hope you guys will stick around and watch that in about four hours i'll make sure to put an update whenever we're doing that until then this has been another episode on passy skins playing not playing i mean playing anything watching a live stream here on the show and i will see you guys all in the next video Bye bye